welcome to Cellbrite. This video will give you a tour of the product so that you can better understand where different features live in Cellbrite and make more sense of the software as soon as you sign up. When you first log into Cellbrite, you're going to land on this page, which is the dashboard. The dashboard is effectively that. It's going to show you some things like your total sales uh, over a given recent time period. It's going to tell you total number of orders broken down by your sales channels. You'll see some announcements from us. Uh, some links to some resources to help you get started, uh, and then some other data like recent activity that Cellbrite's performed on your behalf, your top five selling products, uh, and the total number of listings that you have across your channels. There's also this handy guide that shows you which percentage of your products are listed, so your goal should always be to try to get as close to 100 as possible. Next is the Products tab. The Products tab is really the heart and soul of the application. Within Products, you're going to be able to manage product attributes like images, features, specs, descriptions. You're also going to be able to add custom attributes within a product, and you're also going to be able to add your inventory quantities. There is a second view here called inventory where you can actually see the quantity that you have in stock. Uh, but between the products and the inventory tab, this is where you're going to manage all of the data for the items that you sell. The key relationship in Cellbrite is between products and listings. And the reason is because in Cellbrite, you start from the products tab in order to create new listings. So you would literally just check, check one of these checkboxes and you'd be able to click the create listings button to start the process of sending your products to another sales channel. I'll uncheck that and we'll jump into the listings tab. So you can see here that I have multiple sales channels inside this Cellbrite account and all of these sales channels link back to my products tab. That's because I may want to have each one of my products linked on all four of these channels. So if I click into my Amazon channel, you'll see that I can manage my draft listings that are ones I'm newly creating, my active listings, my out of stock listings, and inactive ones. And all of my listings are gonna link back to my product. So this little linking emblem means that this particular listing on Amazon is linked to an item in Cellbrite so that Cellbrite can update inventory quantities so that Cellbrite knows when an order comes in, which product it's for, and so that you can send additional updates from your product to the listings. And you'll see that same relationship on all four of your sales channels. The next tab is the orders tab, where quite simply, you're gonna see any orders that come in. You'll also be able to create shipping labels for your orders, which you can do by clicking into an order specifically. I could create a shipping label for it. I could mark it as shipped if I fulfilled it from another means and I can print things like a packing slip or a pick list or an invoice for my customers. If I specifically just want to see the shipments that have been created from Cellbrite or through one of our integrated shipping partners like ShipStation, I can go to the Shipments tab. Here on the Shipments tab, I'll be able to see shipments that I've created for all my recent orders. Uh, and if I created them from Cellbrite, I'll see the carrier and tracking number as well as the warehouse that I've shipped them from. And then last is our Reports tab. The Reports tab shows you a couple of high-level reports that'll help you get a handle on what's selling where. So we have two sales reports, a sales by time uh, and a sales by SKU report so that you can get a breakdown of how your, your different SKUs have performed across all your channels, and then a report that's going to show you what's low in stock based on a threshold that you set. And that's really it. That's the heart and soul of the application in these five simple tabs. We also have some data uh, available through settings where you can um, manage your your integrated uh, service integration options like fulfillment by Amazon or ShipStation. You can manage your sales channels uh, and settings specific to your sales channels. You can add money into your postage wallet if you use Cellbrite to create shipping labels. Um, you can get data in and out of the system, uh, customize your product categories, et cetera, et cetera. And that's it. We've designed the software to be really simple to understand uh, and simple to get around. Uh, and uh, hope that this tutorial has helped you make sense of where to go in the application.